Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk to you about the May 2024 Power BI update. I'm gonna to talk to you about two new features, the publish to folders feature and also the metrics layout. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, or perhaps you have been watching my tutorials for a while and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is the opportunity. Hit the subscribe button now so you won't miss anything. So now guys, let's do this. Let's talk about the Publish to Folders feature. So now with this May 2024 Power BI update, you can publish to folders directly from Power BI Desktop. So how do we do that? This is quite straightforward. If you go over here to the publish button, hit this option right here, save the changes, and then this window pops up and now look for the workspace where you wanna add this published report to. For this particular case, I have a workspace called Keepo Analytics. I'm gonna be selecting that one and I already create a folder in this workspace. So I'm gonna be selecting this folder and then the next step is going to be select and this is published into Power BI now. Let's give this a few seconds. Success. And it says got it. So let's hit got it. Boom. You're good to go. So now let's take a look at the Power BI service. So this is the Power BI service. And as you can see here, this is the report that we just published the May 2024 Power BI update. If we go back to the workspace here, and as you can see here, we have a folder as part of the workspace called Kipo Analytics. Let's say that you haven't created any folder yet. Here you have the option as well, folder, and then you can start naming your new folder. So that's what I did for this particular folder here, the 2024 Power BI updates. And like I said before, the report is here. If you can open this report as well, just to check it out. Boom, the report is there. Now let's talk about the metric layout. The Power BI Core Visuals team is doing a phenomenal job here. They are trying to recreate what we have in Excel and this is something similar in Power BI. As you can see, I already created this visual, this metrics, it's right here. And now we have a few options here to play with. Check this out. If you select the visual here, and then you go over layout and style presets, you have an option here called layout. And then here within this option, we have three more, compact, outline, and tabular. Compact is a default view. And something really cool here is that you can play with the indentation. Check this out. This is moving, right? So in that way, it's more flexible, it's more readable. You can do whatever you want with this indentation feature. Great, great addition. Now, if you go over the outline option, you can see the totals at the top here as well. Another cool feature about this option is that you can also repeat row headers. Check this out. Boom. This is great. And now finally, we can go over the tabular option here as well. And this is bananas. You can turn this option on and off. Really, really powerful. And then another cool feature here is also blank rows. You can also add blank rows. So in that way you can read this data better. Check this out. If you activate this option, blank rows, boom. Between each category, you can see space here, a blank space. So now you can read this data better, so much better. There you have it, my friend. The May 2024 Power BI update has new features, published to folders, and also metrics layout are a couple of them. If you found this tutorial helpful, as always, check these tutorials out, really great content as well. Again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, this is the opportunity. Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss anything. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.